Yeah, there are people gathered around these tables where they're taking a look at these maps here to figure out exactly how this is going to impact them. I want to show you right here. This is where they sketched some of the stuff out. We have learned tonight that 100 homes and buildings will be impacted. It's very close. It looks like it's within uh, a couple tenths of a mile. We were there as people first learned just how close the turnpike will be to their homes. My house is about right there in Cambria State. The preliminary route will tie into I-40 just to the east of Luther Road. Up to the north near I-484, there are a couple of options. We're not sure whether we're going to tie in a Hogback Road or our Luther Jones interchange or whether we'll tie in three to four miles to the east of that. Jack Damrill with OTA says the engineers listened closely to the concerns for the public, and this is the best route. The safety aspect is big for us, um, and so we want them to really work with us because we are moving forward. The route will follow Luther, weaving to the east and west side of it. We're going to work with those farm, uh, those landowners who we do affect and who we do split their property. I'm not happy. We've only been here four and a half years, but uh, what are you going to do? You have to change is good sometimes. And I want to show you the OTA has set up these comment and question boxes. They want to hear what people think about this proposed route. They also want to know where they think exits should be placed. A final draft will be released in mid-April. We're live in Hera. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News. Uh